So here we are at the end of these lectures on mind and reality. One of the reasons I chose to end on the topic of action is because I think we can give a clear answer to the question that we set out to answer. And that's an unusual thing in philosophy, really something to celebrate. We can distinguish between actions and things that merely happen to you, as long as we recognise that before we answer that question, we need to distinguish between at least two, perhaps more, kinds of action. And the way to do that is to identify patterns of explanation in which actions feature. The associative pattern of explanation which links the stimulus and the aversion to the stimulus-driven actions, or the rationalising pattern of explanation which links belief, desire, intention and the rest. These patterns of explanation characterise different kinds of action and they also provide built-in marks that allow us to distinguish, in each case, that kind of action from something which is not that kind of action, but perhaps another kind of action, or else something that merely happens to you. So this is, in some ways, a very simple answer to the question that we started with. All we need is respect for the discoveries that have been made, and perhaps more discoveries that will be made in future, about the ways to explain action. This is wonderful. So well done. You've made it right to the end of mind and reality. This is an extraordinary achievement on your part, particularly given the world that you've been doing it in this term. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for taking part in this course. Thank you for the questions that you've given in the live sessions or the comments. Thank you for the peer reviews that you've provided on other students' work for the seminars. Thank you for writing those essays for the seminars and allowing us to have this perhaps more informative discussion. Thank you very much for everything that you've done on this course. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about some of these topics, at least perhaps even all of them. And I hope that as you continue to consolidate, integrate and extend your knowledge, it will give you even more pleasure to be working on some of these topics, which are also things I'm very fond of as well. As I said at the start of the lectures this week, it's been a great privilege to be your lecturer on this course. Thank you very much.